Hello AWS friends and welcome to this chapter about AWS Code Build. In this chapter we are going to cover Code Build with a lot of hands-on examples, Java, Docker, static websites and more. Let's first have a short introduction to Code Build by its definition, its intention and benefits. We are also going to see what kind of projects you can build with CodeCommit, followed by an overview on the most important objects of CodeCommit, and finally the chapter overview. See official AWS definition of CodeBuild is, AWS CodeBuild is a fully managed continuous integration service that compiles source code, runs tests and produces software packages that are ready to deploy. With CodeBuild, you don't need to provision, manage and scale your own build servers. Here's one more definition, but I think you're going to understand it better with our hands-on examples we will create together. For now, you should keep in mind CodeBuild is a managed build server or service where you can build, compile and test your software. If you already have experience with build servers like Jenkins, you know anyway what CodeBuild is all about. Or to summarize it really short, CodeBuild compiles your source code, runs unit tests and produces artifacts that are ready to deploy. The build can be Maven, Gradle, Docker or others. Let's talk about the benefits of CodeBuild. Some of these are it's fully managed. CodeBuild eliminates the need to set up, patch, update and manage your own build servers. It's on demand. CodeBuild scales on demand to meet your build needs. You pay only for the number of build minutes you consume. So you don't pay 24 seven like for a Jenkins server. It's out of the box. CodeBuild provides pre-configured build environments for the most popular programming languages. All you need to do is point to your build script to start your first build. Let's introduce the most important objects and terms of CodeBuild. A project is the main object in CodeBuild. It's where you define your project type and settings. Provider. The source provider, which can be CodeBuild, GitHub, Bitbucket, S3. Environment image. The image of the build server, which will be launched during build. Build spec file. The main build configuration file for your project stores build commands in a YAML formatted build spec file. Input source. The input source files from the defined provider for your build. You can also define multiple input sources. Output artifact, the result from your build. You can also define multiple output artifacts. Environment variables. AWS CodeBuild provides several environment variables that you can use in your build commands. Also, you can create your own variables. Trigger. You can create a trigger on a project to schedule a build once every hour, day or week. With CodeBuild you can build all kinds of different software projects. Let's have a look on them. We are going to cover some of these in hands-on lessons. You can build Java projects with Maven or Cradle. You can build JavaScript projects, for example Node.js or other. You can also build Docker images. You can create a static HTML website for your S3 bucket. Of course Lambda, build your serverless application with CodeBuild. You can also build a WAR file with Maven and deploy it to Elastic Beanstalk. And you can mount and build on an Amazon EFS file system. Also you can build .NET project for Microsoft Windows Server. Finally the overview on this chapter. So you're already watching the introduction and chapter overview. In the next lesson let's have a look on the basics, the build spec, possible providers for code build and more. Then let's create our first code build project, a Java Spring Boot application. The next lesson is showing a Docker example project. Next we are going to cover advanced concepts of code build, the complete build spec syntax, environment variables and more. 
In another hands-on lesson, let's create a static website example project. And in the next example project, we will use multiple input sources and multiple output artifacts. And then let's continue to create a IM role for your code build project. After this, we will cover webhooks and triggers. We will use a custom image for a docker build. And there is a lesson on how to monitor code build. Finally, a short summary. I hope you are excited to start with code build now. So see you in the next lesson and introduce the code build basics.